Hey, what's going on today, guys? Video service information here. Working on a 2015 Ford F-150. It's got 99,000 miles on it. It's got the 5.0 engine. The customer was complaining of a humming noise from a bearing or a drive shaft, is how they stated it. Got the noise verified on the road tests and sounded like it was coming from the left front while in the cab. Did not change anything when we tried to put it in four-wheel drive. Then we end up putting the vehicle up on the lift to uh, run it and see if we could duplicate the noise. Uh, we used a stethoscope and we could definitely hear the noise coming from the front differential on the left side. Just double checking to make sure, you know, the 4x4 was working correctly. We didn't hear any clicking type noises like these F-150s are known for, for the integrated wheel ends to go bad. Uh, everything was working fine. Vehicle was going in at a full drive, just okay. We didn't hear any clicking from the, or grinding from the wheel bearings. That all was fine. So we went ahead and checked the front differential fluid, and we noticed that it had some metallic debris in it, and it was kind of uh, milky, cloudy looking. So we knew we definitely had some bearing issues going on. Got the front differential out of the vehicle and disassembled. Got, got the carrier all removed and we noticed uh, excessive pitting on the carrier bearings on the rollers. And the races are all delaminated and scored and pitted. You can see in the photo here. Yeah, looking at these bearings here, you carry your bearings, you know we're going to need new bearings uh, throughout the front differential. Even a good idea to replace the pinion bearings also because we do have some metal circulation through there. Looking at the ring gear and the pinion gear, everything looks fine on there. We have a good contact pattern. So basically you're going to recommend a bearing kit and seals. Get this all back together and should be fine. I'm sure you guys are wondering what, what the heck is causing the uh, pitting of the carrier bearings. While well, looking at the mileage of the vehicle, of course, it's got almost 100,000 miles on it. And looking at the residual fluid here, see that it's, you know, it's got a milky discoloration to it. So that means it's got water in the fluid. Basically what happens, you know, as the fluid ages, uh, it's capable of holding three to four more times uh, water in the dissolved state than the new oil is. So I always recommend, you know, in differentials, 30 to 40,000 miles at the most. I mean, the manufacturer might say lifetime fluid. Well, guess what? There's no such thing as lifetime fluid. Especially if you have, in, in you're in an area with temperature changes, you know, you get condensation building up in the oil. And you just have a very small space where the oil film can lay. And those are high pressure points in those carrier bearings. So basically when the oil breaks down, because all that water in the fluid then you'll start getting the subsurface layer of the metal will actually start to crack and then work its way up to the top layer and then cause this pitting here that you can see in the in the picture. I know I always tell customers, you know, if they're looking for a used vehicle and if you're buying it from a car dealership, most likely they'll have the service history on the vehicle and you can kind of see when the previous customer did do their oil changes and if they did maintenance on their differentials, transmissions and so on. It's a good idea to you know get that maintenance history so we don't end up like a situation where you have here where you got a vehicle with a hundred thousand miles on it and uh fluid's never been changed and then you end up with a costly repair on having to replace bearings. You guys might say, Hey, well, we're buying a used vehicle, but we can't, you know, we don't have service history on it and we don't know the condition of the inside the engine or inside the transmission or inside the differentials. How we we go about doing that. Well, Amazon, you can get a boroscope nowadays that Bluetooths your phone for like 20 bucks. And then if you're going through the certain car dealership, I would just ask them, say, hey, you guys don't have service history on it. Do you mind if I run my boroscope through like the oil fill cap on the engine or if it's a truck and I look at the differential? Maybe we can have the technician pull a plug out and we can look at the condition of the fluid. Then you know if it's milky or if it's got metallic in it. Well, you know you got something going on. There's a failure occurring there. Maybe you can negotiate the price and maybe the car dealership can fix it before. But there's always ways around, you know, vehicles that don't have service history on it. 
then obviously if you buy the vehicle brand new, you know, you, you can control the service history on it and make the vehicle last. So in conclusion, guys, basically at this point, you know, oil is still cheaper than metal. So it's always good good idea to get those services done on your vehicle. Get those oils changed. And don't forget about the differentials. Don't forget about the transfer case and transmission because that all has oil in it too. Brake fluid. It all needs to be serviced because we got, you know, temperature change and moisture build up and the fluid breaks down. So we definitely want to get those serviced. And if it does say lifetime fluid, well, just like I said a while ago, there's no such thing as lifetime fluid. Appreciate you guys watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell so you'll get notified when I put up new videos. Appreciate you guys. Have a good one.